Hey. Yo, what's up? Oh, nothing much, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, it's cool. Uh, cool to see you're still taking the melee seriously anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to, but life stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, it can get in the way. For sure. Um, but yeah, I guess, like, is the main thing you want to look over today, like, fox dittos, or do you want to do kind of a bit of everything in terms of, like, a few fox games, a few sheep games, or what's the yeah. what's the plan? I was thinking, like, a few fox games and a few sheep games, probably. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any in particular you want to look at in terms of, like, ones you lost or ones you thought, you know, certain things happened or just, like, those ones you linked in or... Yeah, we could just look at the ones I linked first and then, yeah, I can I can send in some sheet games. Do you feel like since the last time I we have... talked, you've improved much at the... Because it was, wasn't was it the Fox Ditto we talked about last time, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was the Fox Ditto. Do you feel like I a lot I've... of the stuff has helped out? Yeah, definitely. Like, the overshooting with, like, Shine, like, Running Shine has yeah. helped a lot. And, like, just a bunch of other, like, smaller stuff you said. I still have trouble with, like, playing patiently and reactively. Because I just, especially against Fox and, like, fast characters that can, like, really quickly, like, do, like, nares or whatever, like, if you're dashing too close to them, like, I just feel uncomfortable, like, playing patiently. Yeah, if, against faster characters that have kind of, like, that burst speed, it can be really hard to get, like, the spacing right. Or, like, you know, because if you position too close, mm -hmm. then you can't react anymore. But if you position too far, then you can't whiff punish. So it's, like, finding, exactly. it's, it's finding that, like, sweet spot, like, spacing, which is, like, way harder on faster characters. Yeah. Like... I don't know. Like I, I have, I feel like with uh, floaties and stuff like that, like slower characters, I just have way more time to think and like react to what they're doing. But against like Sheik and Fox, like it's just, it's just too much happening. Yeah, I think that I feel like that a lot. Like uh, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of Foxes in general mainly struggle with like. Falco is probably the one they struggle with most, and then Fox is like probably the next one mm -hmm. after that because like lasers are a struggle, and then after that it is just kind of keeping up the pace with like another Fox is is also difficult. Whereas like as you say, I feel like a lot of Foxes are actually very comfy in floaty matchups because you have more time to think, more time to like set the pace and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, I, sure. I can I can totally see that. Well, we'll take a look here and we'll we'll see what you could do here. Anyway, is there anything in particular like punish neutral? I guess mainly neutral, wasn't it? We were looking at, wasn't it? Yeah, probably neutral. Um. Yeah, I feel like my punish. I mean, it, it could definitely use some work. Like, I definitely need to go for more reaction tech chases, but. Um. Yeah, at least yeah, I think... a lot of that stuff, at least you can kind of go into, like, Uncle Punch solo grind. Like, obviously, if I, mm -hmm. if I, if I see, yeah. like, specific things that, like, oh, you didn't go for that or whatever, I'll, like, bring it up just so you know, like, what kind of, you know, certain flow charts and stuff that are there. But, yeah, I would say mm -hmm. it's definitely, like, better to, like, focus on the neutral first so, like, you know how to get the hit kind of thing before anything else. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I already like that you're, like, starting to... I feel like you're using dash dance a lot better already since I last seen you. Like, mixing up your timings a bit more, not making it as obvious, like, when you're going in, just from the little bit I've seen already. Yeah. Yeah, like, there was really good. You, like, whip on us mm -hmm. the, like, the up tilt because of that dash dance. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, eight months ago, I probably would have just gone in with the Nair immediately after getting put in the corner because I just felt scared. Yeah, yeah, and then, like, they, 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 like, there's a lot of foxes that just know that timing of, like, if they immediately approach us up till it's going to catch that, but that little timing mm -hmm. change is literally what catches them off. Like, I would have preferred, yeah. I would have preferred to see drill, but, like, the actual timing, yeah. the actual timing was great. Like, the actual, like, you, you done the hard part. It was just the move choice. I would have pugged drill, but, like, you, you done the mm -hmm. hard thing. It's literally just swap to drill. You can get drill grab, drill shine into, like, RTC. But yeah, all, yeah, yeah. other than that, like, it was, it was, like, a perfect, like, perfect nair, except, like, you know, I wouldn't have naired, but in terms of, like, the space and all, it was, like, perfect.
So this is a pretty common situation here. It's like uh, you like I kind of like whenever I'm this far away, I kind of recognize that like I can't get a follow up like here. Mm -hmm. So like a lot, yeah. a lot of times what I do is I run close and kind of like be it that I'm going to, I'm going to do something, but I don't. And I kind of wait to see what they do. Cause a lot of times sure. they, a lot of times here, they'll do like a panic option. So you like immediately fill up. So if you'd kind of, mm -hmm. if you'd kind of stayed here and even faced your back towards him and just hold this space, you would be in such a like good position to like keep him in the corner. Yeah. Uh, but because you immediately, you, you like, look like you were kind of desperate to get the hits, but like you weren't close enough to get the hit. So you kind of give him like an out here with a full jump. So I just say when when you if you can recognize earlier when like you can't get a guaranteed hit and then you can it's kind of like what I do against lasers too I kind of like wait and see what Falcos do after a laser I kind of this is not a situation where I like to see what they do out of a not a true RTC but they're kind of like it's kind of barely not an RTC so you kind of wait because they think you might immediately go in and then you just counter what they do instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, if you were like really fast with this, you would like not back air because he's too high and just like ledge dash on and then you can like ba uh, run past back air him again and keep the edge guard going. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, yeah, it's like that. That That's obviously really hard to do, but because you did this back air, like you're physically not going to make him in time now. Yeah, I, I need to do a better job recognizing like when I don't have a true punish or whatnot. Like especially after uh, tech chase. Like, it's hard for me to tell whether I'll be there in time. Yeah, yeah, it's hard because there is definitely situations where it's that close that making that split decision there and then is mm -hmm. a lot harder than it looks. Yeah. I think I lost this game. Yeah, I do like how you're playing neutral though at the minute. Like a mix season platforms, dash dance. It's just the it's it's just the move choice that I'm not a big fan of. But other than that, yeah. it's I think yeah. I think you should be using a lot more like running shine and drill whenever you're doing these dash dances. The actual dash dances mm -hmm. themselves are great. And you're picking really good moments to go in, but I think you could just be like not nearing quite as much, especially at this percent where he could CC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that nair was horrible. Yeah, you made this really hard as well with this, like, up air. Like, here. Mm -hmm. you, actually, you actually already had a pretty good spot to, like, RTC, because you're already that close to him. So you could have just, like, stayed here and done, like, either the hard thing to do, but optimal thing would have been to up tilt the second place. The mm -hmm. But the easier thing to do would just be, like, keep facing forward and just, like, either grab second place or wait for the roll. Mm -hmm. um, but because you jump, you kind of like, yeah, you're kind of giving them a, okay, like, uh, you're going to be in lag now, so you can't really cover, like, that much. You're basically only covering, like, that. If To be fair, if you'd up aired where he, like, tagged in place, you would have got it, but at that point, you're kind of just, like, taking a guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good there. Overshoot into the corner. I feel like I feel like I feel like a few months back you would have like nared just before he was and got like hit, but because he overshooted, mm -hmm. that was like perfect. He has no space to work with, so it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Do 
yeah, pretty much here, uh, you wanna, so after you get here, you wanna pretty much look for an up air, not a back air. Mm -hmm. because at this low percent back air he's actually going to be actionable before you are if you hit him with a back yeah. air so anytime he goes for a high up B you want to like try shark it with an up air and then that'll start like a massive combo yeah. uh, but that, that but awesome. but but if, if he was like if he was like 50 or 60 or just go for back air and you know keep the edge guard going type thing but if he's like below yeah. like 20 or something like that or even maybe below 30 I'd go for up air Even here, the dash dance was really good. This guy seems to want to up tilt a lot. So, like, if you catch onto this earlier, you could just, like, run and shine in between up tilts to whiff punish. Yeah. That's hard, but yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I, yeah. Because I, I feel like you're you're actually doing the, like, you're doing the technical hard thing that I feel like you're actually, you're doing well enough to actively do that in this game. I just feel like because you're picking there and, like, doing other things that, like, you're not doing it. But I do feel like your actual timing's good enough to do that. And, like, either that or Drill, you can pick either one. Like, Drill's a bit easier and you can still get the shine, but if you want to get, like, just running shine for a quick knockdown... And the good thing is, if you're holding down, you'll just CC the up tilt anyway, if you go for run and shine. So it's not even mm -hmm. that much of a risk, even if you get hit by it. So, and, like... Gotcha. Yeah, because I think, like, this guy seems to... He seems to up tilt an awful lot, so I would just, like, look out for that, and your dash dances are kind of baiting them out. Yeah, there it is. The Nair gets caught by CC here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that alone that alone would make you like. I feel like you'd honestly like free stock this game if you use drill instead of Nair in like ninety percent of these situations. Like, there's so yeah. much, you you would get such a harder punish, not get reversal. Like your your neutral's mm -hmm. looking really good. Just change up some moves and you should be fine. Gotcha. What do you think about those, like, full hot back airs that I was doing? Like that. that I think that's good. Th th this one in particular is very good, actually, because, like, he's what he's facing backward when you do it. So, like, yeah, like here. So, like, the best he's going to get is a shield out. You're spacing it well. So, like, even if he shields this, he can't shine on the shield because you've spaced it well. So, like, you're not really... You're just keeping stage. It, best case, you get a hit, which you do. Worst case, you get he gets shielded that you still keep pressure on. So I think there's like there's no downside really to doing this back air. So I'd say this back air, as long as you keep it spaced, is like yeah, these full up back airs are really strong. Gotcha. Yeah, big thing is when you get a knockdown, I would like to see you jump a lot less and just do like a grounded tech chase. It feels like when you get them on the ground, like here, you like do a lot of like short hops. Yeah. And that kind of gives up, that kind of gives up the whole like sequence of like just tech chasing. You're kind of, mm -hmm. you're kind of going for like a thing, like a raid or whatever. Whereas if you could just like stay like, as a, I think I remember saying it last time, it was like, you can either pick to do the one where you stay just out of a uh, get up attack range and tech chase that way, or you can, like, if you get confident doing the crouch tech chase, you can stay right beside them, crouch the, the get up attack, and then you just dash back, dash forward, and, and cover whatever else. I do feel pretty confident with that, like, crouching the get up attack and punishing after. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, the opto, yeah, one. yeah, I would say, like, you should grind, like, even in, like, uh, just, like, uh, Uncle Punch, just go into, like, the... The combo training one and literally just practice like doing like back throw reaction tech chases shine knockdown tech like just busy mm -hmm. and like even falling up air just any different way you can knock him down just practice positioning close to him and then doing like crouch rtc's beside him that is the falling up air is how i usually practice it but it's not something you're going to get in an actual game very often yeah i like to i like to kind of do loads of different ways because like it, there's so many weird situations that will actually come up in games so if you're ready for like all yeah. these different ways it's like nothing's gonna phase you at that point like you're not surprised by any you're kind of ready for like all these weird situations yeah that makes sense i think that i did actually win this game so but yeah two, I lost. Uh, that was good i like that we just like keep like back here and that's what i'm saying if they're like obviously above that 50 60 range and just feel free to keep grabbing ledge back here and repeat like it's it's just mm -hmm. it's just easier and like you're gonna get the kill eventually anyway 
no, I definitely liked, I like, I feel like you've took quite a lot, actually, out of last time, especially the patience is, like, night and day, like, it's so different. I feel, I feel like before, the, the, your, your dash dances are just, like, so much better than before. Well, thank you. Um, so I feel like, as I say, like the next the next thing will just be making sure you're ready for situations to pick like the right moves. I feel I feel like that's the next big step. Mm -hmm. uh, once you're picking the right moves, when you're when you're you know all your kind of timings are getting a lot better now. So once you get the right timings uh, of, or once you pick the right move and your punish gets stronger with RTC, then all that will just like stack on top of each other and each opening will be like you'll just be a scarier player when you get the opening as well. Yeah. Do you play against this fox much, or was it was this an unranked fox? This was just uh, unranked. We played three games, and he won two out of the three. Yeah, so even what this fox does is like pretty much what I'm kind of want you to do when you're punishing. Like when he gets this here, like. Uh, yeah, he gets that up tilt and he stays on the ground and just reacts with like an up smash. Stuff like this is really good and then he just keeps the combo going. So if you kind of make your punish game a bit more flow chart like that, because I feel like you're doing, I feel like you're beating him pretty well in neutral. It's just he's hitting a bit harder in some situations. So I think like once you start to punish that bit harder, you'll, it'll kind of make your neutral more scary at the same time. Oh, I feel like you're really close here. Yeah, I think like just um, just get you get so much more to do in like short up drills out of dash dances. I feel because if you done like if you done short up drill like even here, like he's he's just gonna get stuffed out. You can do shine, go into attack chase. Like I feel like you 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 do oh. want you do want to overshoot, but you don't want to like you don't want to run for too long where he can just like shine you out of your dash at the same time. I feel like in this spot, you know, like with hindsight, obviously, I would I would say the best or probably one of the best plays would be like the short hop drill where you like dash forward and then fade it back. So you exactly. Land, like, right where you yeah, yeah. I would say you either wanna you either wanna overshoot it like from where you are, so you catch him like dash mm -hmm. back and or whatever with a drill, or you do the one you're yeah. talking about where you're like, if he comes in, you're going to get a drill. And even if he tries to punish you after, it's really hard because you feed back. So it's like low mm -hmm. risk. It's like low risk, yeah. low, like pretty much decent reward if it hits. So it's like, yeah, I, yeah, you should definitely implement more like feedbacks of aerials too for, for death. Yeah, I've, been, I've been trying that like recently. I've been, because I, I almost like never used to do it, but it's like really strong. It's actually, it's, I actually feel like it's really good with Nair as well, because Nair has quite a mm -hmm. big hitbox, so I love doing, like, dash dances and then Nair fadeaways, then they're, like, they'll either get clipped by it, or they'll wait till it's done and try, like, dash grab in, and then, like, you fade it back so much that you, like, da you dash back, dodge their punish, and then with punish what they thought was punishable, essentially, yeah. so it's, like, this whole, like, just if your spacing's good with feedback, you can make it so you're so hard to hit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it was really good. I just immediately a <laughs> Well, ignore that. The rest was good. Yeah, that was good. Ooh, that must have been so close. <laughs> that's so like oh. oh I can't believe that I actually thought you were gonna win that exchange that's just so like insane uh. that's just melee sometimes yeah yeah it is did you shine this or did he I might have a good DI after this drill yeah yeah he, he actually jumped slightly before so the drill wasn't like at least as i yeah, say, that's, as i say as i say yeah. you, you don't get punished for it really though it's like it's pretty safe like even if even if he like if he had shined here you were too far away to get hit by it anyway so like worst case you don't get a combo out of it but you didn't get hit for it and best case mm -hmm. he stays on the ground and you get an rtz so like that's why i'm saying short up drill is really good because like it's really low low risk and you it's a massive reward if it like if it hits on the ground yeah yeah
yeah, like there, I went for the up air again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think if you just kind of have the mindset of like, right, stay on the ground, go for either grab or up smash. Um, mm -hmm. and even up till if it's like, if you're close already and they're doing tag and place. But I would say mainly try to stick to like up smash and grab because they're your two best like combo. Like once you get the pop up of up thrower, up smash, normally you can start to do like RTC up, up air on platforms and just leads to this big like ladder of falling up airs and stuff until you get a back air off stage. And what do you think about punishing the tech in place with shine instead of um, grab or up smash? Uh, shines like it's easier but you get less reward so I guess if you're feeling like yeah. if you're feeling like less confident then I can see that going for the shine isn't a bad thing um for sure like obviously if you're feeling more confident I would go for the up smash grab or up tilt on because you you yeah. know it just, it just gives you more reward but like there, mm -hmm. there is times where it's a weird situation where like it's all happening so fast that if you feel like you need the extra bit of speed then go I would say then go for the shine yeah yeah okay <laughs> Yes, this is another one of those situations where you're barely not going to be close enough to make it to him because he like di'd mm -hmm. away and tagged away. Yeah. And like, yeah, it's it's, 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 it's just... yeah because you still went for it and like immediately tried to catch it. It's like he's going to be like, okay, I'm going to throw a button out right away because he might still think this is true when it's not. And then like so that's yeah, I think that's just not a big thing, I guess. Well, we'll obviously make notes after whatever, but that'll definitely be one of the ones where it's like try to recognize when you when a follow up is true and when it isn't true, that kind of way. You could have up smashed here. Probably could have. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that de yeah, definitely. That would have killed. Still get that's still nice. So in terms of like the the plan B still worked really well. So the edge guard was good. How is your? Have you been practicing any like uh, out of shield options, like shine out of shield and stuff like that? How would you say you are at that? Yeah. Um, I'm not the best at it, but I, uh, I, you know. Yeah. I've been getting better. Yeah, because like, I definitely could have shined that out. Yeah, shield, yeah, though. he done a really. They, this nair's really bad on shield, obviously, because it's so high up. So, like, yeah, that was definitely shine out of shield, and then you could, like, tech chase. So even even if you're not good enough to get the grounded shine and tech chase after, even just, like, as a get off me, it's just really good, even to get it out. Just get it out in general. Also, normally when you see them, when you see them full hop, I like to just like stay on the ground and stay enough away that a backer is going to miss you. So instead of going like directly underneath them here, it's not that good because like realistically, if he comes down with drill, you're going to just get stuffed out. And even if you up tilt here, he's at zero, so it's not going to do anything. Yeah. So the best case you can do is probably stay like around, you know, like under this kind of platform, wait for him to land and punish anything that like I would probably just run short up drill. So even even if like he's gonna be in a wee bit of end lag after he does like an aerial, and even if he doesn't do an aerial, it's gonna be hard to punish your drill after if he empty lands. So real I, I just think going going on drum here when he's zero percent. It's okay if he was like sixty and you wanna like cover like shark him with like up air or up tilt. It's okay, but because he's at zero, I would always say, like, dash dance around the spacing where a backer's gonna miss you, and then you can try with punish. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Also, can I, can we take a break for a second? My dog is going crazy. I think there's a... Yeah, yeah, go for it. at my door or something. Yeah, okay. no, no worries.
Okay, I'm back. Hello? Hey, I'm back. All right, you good to go? Mm-hmm. That was really, that was really good awareness to get the shine after the tag here. Yeah, I don't usually hit that, but. Yeah, if you yeah if you had like uh, you might have been trying to obviously the full up might have been meant to be a wave dash obviously if you wave dash towards him here it actually could turn into like a big RTC as well. Mm -hmm. That was a very clean shine on a shield, uh, like you got it on the ground, which is really good. I think that was a shine grab or a real grab right he, there. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I think so because he didn't like yeah he didn't like DIY enough or anything. So yeah, mm. this is definitely drill grab, and then you can just go for. It's up to you. I've actually like I was watching Big Ice yesterday, and I know Moki likes to do a lot of like back throws whenever they're at the platform to just go for a tech chase on the ground instead of doing like the up air platform tech chase. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do. You could choose to do like drill grab and go for up like, the usual up throw, uh, you know. Reaction tech chase with the up air on the side plat, or you could do back throw tech chase on the ground with grab or up smash. Definitely more comfortable with the up throw tech chase on platform. Yeah, yeah, that's that. That is the static. That's what I would normally go for. I've been trying to. I'm. I'm kind of testing out the whole back throw thing. It's actually been going pretty good, but hmm. yeah, but either either or like great options. Oh, that's a great nair to shield. Oh, oh, yeah, that was oh I just, I just, well, I just left. I didn't even realize that. Oh yeah, maybe I sometimes I do. You think you've got one stock left? Or like, yeah, I think that's probably what happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so do you wanna? It's up to you. Do you wanna do another fox one, or do you wanna do? Do you wanna go into chic next? Uh, we can go into chic now. Okay. Do you have uh, some chic ones? Yeah. So I played like seven games against this guy on unranked, and. We went pretty even, but the games that I won were like nail biters, and the games that I lost were like destruction. Yeah, I yeah. Like. So I can, yeah, I can. We can go through like all of them if you think we have time, or we can just go through some of them. Yeah, even just send me, send me what you have anyway of them, and then we can like see how many we can get through type thing. Okay. Can I just do that? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Was there like a, in the ones you feel like you lost badly, was there anything in particular like a certain stage you don't like against Sheik or what do you think was no, like um I don't think too much about the stages. This this guy just had a really good punish game. Like really good uh tech chases yeah like, yeah i feel like i play a lot more like nervous against you know players in general but especially sheiks who have like good tech chases because every time i know like if i get grabbed then i'm probably like, dead or taking a bunch of percent yeah you're kind of already thinking about the like oh dear when he gets an opening this is gonna hurt type thing <laughs> mm-hmm
So in particular, I actually in in ways I actually really I actually think Dash Danson's even better against Sheik than against Fox because of her tilts are so good. So like mm-hmm. you can like you can like dash dance way down an F tilt and then go in with like a running shot. Obviously you can you can run in and just like crouch cancel it as well. And then you yeah. just, then they have to like call that out with a grab, but like dash dancing and just like whiff punishing like f tilt is like such a common thing to do with like running shine and like it gets you like obviously the the true like wave shine up smash wave shine turn around up yeah. tilt all your like bread and butter combos yeah yeah like here yeah oh, really good I like the up tilt there is really it's hard but it's like worth it because i feel like the grab just doesn't really lead no, to I, much. No, I would, I fully agree. I think in, in ways, di- uh, down tilt can be really good for the pop-up as well. I don't know, maybe, maybe this is a bit low mm-hmm. for the down tilt, but in general, if they're a wee bit higher, we have shine down tilt's also really good. Mm. What would I have done here after you... Yeah, that's a weird situation where you're like, the... Uh, like in front of them. Yeah. Like yeah, I, I think mean, probably just shine, right? I don't know. See, I think I would have up tilted and then if they DA and you get up tilt up air and it potentially kills. Yeah. I, I don't like shine because they can slide off to ledge, so you don't really kind of get anything if they're good like mm-hmm. that. But uh, even honestly, even a short out back air up tilt, I think, were the two best things you could have did. Mm-hmm. I like to keep Sheik off the ledge as much as possible because she's just like so good on ledge. Gotcha. Yeah, sounds really good. She like I think you would punish this F tail with a full up back air. Yeah, really good. I feel like my edge guards against Sheik are pretty good. Yeah, so far I'm liking I'm liking how you like kinda you you seem like you have a nice flow chart to it, which is really nice. Mm-hmm. I feel like because Fox has so many different angles and stuff, you kinda struggled more to like pin Fox down, like which way he was gonna go and stuff. But with Sheik, yeah. you you have more of an idea of like how much lag she has and all that kinda. Mm-hmm. I don't think I meant the F smash there, but <laughs> it worked out. Uh, yeah. And I definitely meant to like shine, turn around, back air there. Yeah, shine, yeah, but... yeah. That's, that's that that would have been really good to be fair. Do you know how to make it like as hard as possible for Sheik to for tech chases, like when she gets a grab? Um, I mean, not really. Besides, like di and close to them and trying to like. Uh, tech and play shine and then like seeing if they can do like the um, crouch tech chase and the like dash back out of crouch just trying to see like what they're bad at I guess That's yeah what I so do. so the best thing to do is make it really ambiguous if you're gonna end up behind or in front of Sheik so mm-hmm. so here it seems like you're always you're always the eye like slightly in front so like the Sheik's then close to you and still facing forward but like if you'd make it, if you done somewhere you're slightly behind Sheik, I mean Sheik has to like do this like wave dash back and then go for the tech chase, so it's a lot like stricter timing. Okay. Uh, whereas because the Sheik knows like you're in front of like her, it's like a lot easier. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, your your punish game in general looks so much like cleaner on Sheik though. Like I can already oh, like, yeah, tie I, I suck it. Punishing Fox for that, like it's just the tech chasing, like yeah, because you're yeah, more. you're really good. Like the guarantee, like wave shine stuff. You seem like pretty technical in that way, which is good. Yeah, I'd say that I am for sure. Nice. Yeah, that that was a little awkward because I. I thought like exactly what happened would happen where they go to ledge, and so I was just kind of like, "Oh yeah, 
Yeah, I think is yeah. If you predict if you predict they're gonna go to ledge, best thing you can do is just like if you've already committed to like you know weave the action back, it's just like put your shield out and then like try mm -hmm. if they space it, don't shine out a shield. If they don't space it, shine out a shield. They've used their jump off ledge. Mm -hmm. Here as well, I would like threaten. I would like I would have stayed like further out here and like double jump back here and threaten like if she lands like here. But because you jump more in the stage, you're kind of letting her get ledge for free. Yeah. So I think if you had like stayed closer to the outs, because if you back air here and use three, it's like it's always just a good trade for you. Like nothing's gonna knock you down because you're a three percent. So it's it's always just beneficial for you to get the hit here, and just make sure she doesn't get her jump back. Gotcha. Nice. I was hoping to see the up smash there. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that uh, that one too. The nair up smash. That was definitely I could have punished that grab for sure. But. Yeah, because as I was gonna say, I feel like your dash. I feel like you're positioning well to react to things. You're just a bit slow at reacting to in neutral. Mm -hmm. So I think like yeah. you're, you're you are setting it up to make it easier for yourself. But I think you just have to be more confident of like, oh, I see a move, go in. You know, I gotta be like, yeah, no, I gotta be I quick on this. I think I'm more focused on that sort of like spacing than actually like reacting to what they're doing. To be, yeah, really to be fair, that's like, it's already a big improvement because like before it was kind of like both things were a bit slow or like you weren't in the <laughs> right position, but now the positioning's right. You just need to get a wee bit quicker reacting and like, it's fair that because you've only started implementing this position and it's like, you're still going to be very focused on that. So like, I don't expect, yeah. I don't expect you to be like quick away right on the mark. Like it'll take a bit of time, but like the good thing is you're making it easier for yourself with the position you have. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that grabbed didn't hit either. That's. Let me see. Oh yeah. I was like, what? It looked like I dashed into them while they grabbed too. Like oh, it barely to say yeah. So like the the, the like animation had barely ended, and then you like came in. That was like that was like so weird. <laughs> yeah, and that worked. You could also be like, uh, as I say, you could be. I think you'd be like running CC in a lot more because like sheiks. Yeah. It's very rare sheik. Like until you do it a lot, sheiks aren't really gonna just call you out with grab. Mm -hmm. So like you kind of make them think like oh I have to like call out now with grab and then when you when the when you when you condition the sheik to do that then that's when you start doing like short up nair short up drills into them because then you know you just beat grab with any aerial so you kind of you kind of get the sheik to play your game like your mix up that you want to play but the minute they're not going for grab and they've got no reason to because you haven't been doing the yeah PC. Ooh, getting fancy. Oh, I like that. Ooh, that chain was clean on the floor there. Yeah, I definitely really like your... I actually really liked how you play versus... In that game, at least, I really liked how you played against Sheik. Like, grounded, a lot of whiff punishing, really good punishes in general. Like, it was a lot of... And like your edge guards were pretty good too. Like overall, I just think you have a general good game plan for Sheik from that game. Okay, I think the rest of them are gonna be a little more rough, but yeah, I'd say yeah. I feel like maybe because FD is a bit more simple as well. I feel like you'd maybe be really mm -hmm. good on FD because obviously you don't have to worry yeah. about the, like whenever you have to worry about oh well, Sheik can land on a platform, I can't just wait for the land, and it gets a lot more like just the game plan mm -hmm. isn't quite as like fixed. Yeah, that makes sense. This one also on edge. I wonder if they picked the same game or is this one also on FD? Uh, I think... I think there was only one FD game. Yeah, I'm looking at the replays. We played on... Uh... Stadium twice. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Did and the first one. This one's at Stadium next. I think we only played. Oh, we played on. No, yeah, we played. Um, only Stadium twice. 
So okay, okay. Every other match should be a different stage. I don't think I meant to down smash there, but I don't really know how that happened. Yeah, it was like weird. Like I'm surprised because they must have been already dashing forward. Cause like there's no way they were, like this was one where you've shined. It's only after a few that they're gonna start SDI and in. So. This is just kind of weird. Um, yeah, they were definitely just dashing in, and that caught like that made them DI behind. So obviously, if you do recognize that, then you go for a shine, and then you can keep it going, like turn around, up smash, or something like that. But it's like not mm -hmm. easy to do to react to like the SDI. Yeah. Yeah, definitely start DI and slide behind and slide in front. Doesn't make this tag chase like way harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I see you're just like you're using a lot of like panic options. Like as soon as you get knocked down, you're like putting the button out like immediately. Yeah. Uh, and then they're kind of, as I say, that's what I like to do is I like to wait it out. And then if you know they're panicking, mm -hmm. you wait out, punish what they're punish what they're doing after, and that's exactly what the sheik's doing here. Yeah. So just like just be wary of like okay, like I don't always need to put a button out. I can like dash away and go back to neutral on a knockdown mm -hmm. if they're slow kind of way because. The Sheik does, like, the Sheik's tech chases are good, but there is times they're just waiting as well for you to, like, do something. Yeah. Yeah, so even, like, just even on, well, no, I was gonna say run on CC, but you are very high, but honestly, even if you CC this, it means you just get, like, nothing really would happen. I don't really like doing aerials that, like, this high percent unless you're like with punishing something because this will just like you just die at this percent it like pops you up and then they get forward air whereas if you yeah. stay on the ground you've got access to like changing your timings with like dash dance you can run in down tilt you can there's so much more you can do and like you're not you're not you know weak to tilts when you're on the ground yeah she could be pretty much looking for like an f tilt down tilt or whatever just for that pop up with like the high percents I think it's just you missed your L cancel, but if you if you didn't, I feel like you would have done the right thing here. Because run off forward, it would have been yeah. good, and then like they still have no jump, and then you can just like keep them off stage. So like the idea was right there. It's so slow. Yeah, yeah. to be night and day when you like when you die behind you'll notice how much more they'll mess up this tech chase okay because it like the fact that they can just like stay facing forward the entire time makes this like so much easier for the sheik mm -hmm. That was the same situation where your dash dance was good, but you just didn't. Yeah, like here, you could have ran and shine or drilled the whiff punish. Mm -hmm. but you, I actually, the, the jump was actually pretty good, but then yeah, I think you double jumped to like back out after, like here. Yeah, if, if you hadn't double yeah. jumped, you actually could have kept it, kept your momentum going and actually got like a drill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the biggest thing that game was like, your neutral wasn't bad, it was mainly like, you just weren't hitting that hard, like you were dropping more wave shines and stuff. I feel like, I feel like if you had hit as hard as you did the FD game, that would have been like a really close game as well. Yeah. But because like your neutrals weren't leading to as much like big damage or kills, it meant that like their openings meant so much more than your openings. 
Yeah, I think I get more nervous too when they demonstrate that punish game, you know? Yeah, Like yeah. they didn't they didn't really do that in the FD game, but here it's like yeah, they were they were messing me up. Yeah, yeah. It's just a just a kind of consistency thing. Like if you can keep the punish game at that level you had on FD, it'll make like Sheik's life so much harder. Mm-hmm. But it is, it is, as I say, it is easier in FD when there's no platforms to work with too. So that's another, like you have to, you have to shark in different ways because they can land on platform. You have to combo differently because platforms can like mess you up too. So. And what are, what are like the good stages for Fox in this matchup? So the like... best stage is definitely FD because Sheik loves platforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then yeah. after that, it's like, I... I really like stages where you can like smother Sheik. So like Yoshi's I actually think is like really good because you if you get Sheik off stage, it's a pretty like as you can see, it's a pretty standard edge guard to like get a lot of damage or potentially kill her a lot of the time. So I like stages that you like Yoshi's where they're small and you can like get the back here's gonna get them off stage sooner. Whereas I'm not as big I'm not big of a fan of like Dreamland where she can kinda like camp the platforms a bit more. It's gonna be harder to yeah. put her in the edge guard situation. So I think like FD is your best and then I like I like Yoshi's a lot too. I think Stadium Stadium's pretty nice because the layout's a lot like FD. It's just got two platforms, but then that is very FD, yeah. So I think it's really good for Fox. Okay. So I would say if you're like if you're counter picking, I would say the three stages that you want I I like to go for are FD Stadium and Yoshi's are probably my three favorite stages. Gotcha. And Sheik doesn't really have a big advantage on any counter picks though, does she? Not really. Like I would say, yeah. I think on her her best stage might be like FOD because the plot heights can be a bit annoying for Fox to like combo. I would maybe say, like, FOD, like, fighting is the worst, but I think in general, Fox just, like, wins on, like, basically every stage. Like, he, he his, yeah. his counter picks mean more than Sheik's do. Mm hmm No, I definitely feel like whenever I lose this matchup, I'm just getting, like, outplayed. Or, like, outpunished or something, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, you can kind of, like... It's never, like, cheesy. Or, sometimes, I mean, I get, like, gimped, but, like, I don't know. I never, I never feel like it's my character. Like, yeah, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. I feel, I, I feel like the same when I play against Sheik and lose to the Sheik. I'm like, fair enough. They just punished really hard. Like, they just, yeah. they played really well. Like, fair play kind of thing. Like, I never, like, it's different when you're against like Marth and stuff. We can kind of just get zero to death like pretty easily. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. when it's Sheik, it's like they have to work really hard to get, get that kill off a of grab. So I'm like, kind of like fair play. Like, it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's just the same went situation. Went too far there. So even yeah, even here, if you recognize, you can like up tilt as well. Like you can do shine and do the thing I'm talking about, where you turn around and like keep those shine going. But you can also just do up tilt if you're like, if you're I not feel like not ready to if react. I did, like shine turn around up tilt here, it would have hit like the other like, you know, it would have hit him the other way. Too. I would have sent them like left. Yeah. Yeah, and then you could have maybe done like back here and got like an edge guard started. Yeah, that probably would have been like the optimal thing to do. Another thing that can make it hard for Sheik too is actually like staying on the ground, like actually not getting the tech and then mixing up between like get up attack and different roles like timings. Yeah. That can make it really hard too. Like obviously like Falcon needs to do it and then he like STIs up so he doesn't get like tech chase. But with Fox is actually pretty good as well because like it mixes, you can mix up your timing so much and like how long you stay on the ground when you get up attack, when you roll that kind of way, mix up the timings a bit. Mm -hmm. But because you're like since you're down forward and like tacking in place or tacking, you know, tech rolling like all the time, like the timing's gonna be the same. It's just like reacting. Yeah. Gotcha. So after this Nair, I, I would have done down tilt. Mm -hmm. It would have been perfect because they're popped up. They're going to land directly into the the down tilt and then you can go for either up tilt or just like a full up backer to get her off stage. Gotcha. 
It's hard to know when to do down tilt though, because it really depends on like which way the Sheik DI is your nair. So it, it is very much reacting to the the DI. So it can be really hard to like know when to do it. Yeah. Something you don't do as well, which can be really good on Sheik, is when you get like them to put their shield up as doing like shine grab as well. Oh yeah, I, I need to work on that like a lot for sure. I, I never, I mean I do sometimes, but like I, I'm really bad at recognizing that. Yeah, because I feel like, like there's a lot of spots where your pressure is good enough that you're putting the Sheik in shield. So if you mix up between shine grab and keeping like pressure going, it's gonna it's gonna make them second guess themselves when they want to put their shield down, and then you might end up getting yeah. a hit with like if you do like shine nair, shine nair, they might put their shield down nair hits, and then if they don't, you you get the grab. Also, when you have a bit of space, okay, I would say you could also throw in a couple of lasers when you know they're not in like dash attack range. Mm -hmm. Just to add, always getting like that extra bit of percent is, and like you're not giving up any stage for it is like pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, against like drills, okay, but when people are good enough to start SDI, and that's why I don't like to do shine drill because then it makes it really like hard to keep the combo going. That's yeah. that's why I always like to do the more fixed stuff like down tilt, turn around, up tilt, up smash, grab, you know, all the kind of like more guaranteed stuff. Yeah. This was this was really good. You saw you put the nair out a wee bit early, so you got like the weak hit in there. But the actual like idea was right where you whiff punish. You done a really good dash dance and whiff punish the forward tilt. Like this is pretty mm -hmm. much like this is what you want to make this like part like this part of neutral like basically your bread and butter. Just like delay the nair so you get strong hit and send her off stage. So this is similar to the other part as well, where I would like to like, I would like you to not stay in stage as much and like double jump back here and like threaten her landing. Because like when she's already used her double jump, it means if you hit this, even if you straight it doesn't matter. She's going to be dead if you hit this strong back air. Yeah. So always threaten her trying to land. Like she's got like, she's always going to try like land on ledge here because she knows if she tries to land on stage, you can like anti-air with up tilt or you can just full up back air the landing. So she's pretty much always going to try get ledge and be safe. Until you until you show that you're gonna go out there and like threaten it, and then there's gonna be like a whole mix up game. But the minute she's always trying to like land on ledge. Yeah. Yeah, it's just gonna fall out, I guess. Isn't it? Yeah. It is, it is scary to do that though at low percent. I feel like, I feel if you up B and go high, yeah. if you go high at low percent, there's not really she, like you're, you're going to get hit. Yeah. But then you're not going to go anywhere. So you just land and then you're safe. So I feel like, I feel like the risk reward is just like never really worth doing this, like this low percent. Cause if you up B and go yeah. high, you're pretty much getting back. Okay. That, that makes sense. <laughs> I did not have to do that. Yeah, yeah, I would have, I would have done like two. I would have just done like two standard like wave shines and then just up smash like to make sure you get the kill. But obviously, yeah, I wouldn't have drilled in case of the SDI. I feel like one shine and it would have just been it, it, it probably would have been. I sometimes Dreamland, I just get scared that's not gonna kill. Yeah. What do I do? What do I do at low percent after up throw? Should I be going for a different throw, or is there? An... Let me see. So uh, you get like, I I do like obviously the nair probably isn't great, but I don't really know. Yeah. So 
I guess in general I wouldn't have grabbed because grab a low percent is bad. But if you do happen, yeah. if you do happen to get a grab, I would, I would have, I would have probably, I would have, I would have went for Nair. I, th- I think I went for up, up air. Yeah, yeah, you there. did. If you, if you done, yeah. I would have went for a Nair where you done up air and then done Nair up tilt to keep her in the air. Mm-hmm. Would have been the best thing, but because you went for up air, it's like even if your first hit of up air hit, it's not going to do anything, and then you'll trade. But if Nair, if Nair trades, it's not bad, and Nair's. Nair probably would have came out quicker that you would have beat her anyway. And you would have just got like Nair up tilt, up tilt, and then like keep her in the air. Makes sense. But yeah, in general, if you've got a wave shine, I would. It's very. Unless maybe off road. No, honestly, it's very rare I do wave shine grab on Sheik. I pretty much always do something else because like off throws yeah. like generally worse than doing like up tilt, down tilt, or like up smash when it'll kill. What well, is up smash? Like, should I have just up smash there at that like super low percent? Because I feel like it probably would have comboed into something. Uh, it's, I've, yeah, it probably was the right call. Or was it? it was like, I was at literally zero. You got the shine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think yeah, I would have done up smash. I think up smash was your best bet for sure at this low percent. Okay. Because I wouldn't, I would, I was gonna say another shine, but they're starting to get close enough to ledge that they could D out and slide off, so I just wouldn't have messed with another shine. Yeah, so this is like a quicker version of the situation I was talking about. So just fret and ledge. Like you got, you have to, yeah. you have to show that you're not afraid to like threaten to cover ledge. Like even a dash attack here to cover the land and on ledge would have been really good because you could do dash attack, turn around up till back air. I'm, uh, I guess I'm just afraid that like if if they if I cover ledge and then they just, they just go to stage for free. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think just, especially when you see the double jump, though, their drift isn't that great. So that's why I think mm-hmm. the dash attack is definitely risky. Like, that's a pure call out. So I don't really like the dash attack as much. But if you just do full up back air, worst case, you're going to trade. Like, they're not really going to be able to get, like, over you. Yeah. So, worst case, you're probably going to trade or you just kind of nothing really happens. But there's no real risk to it. It's, it's more so like in this position, you're just like, you're in a better position because they've used a double jump and you currently have stage. Yeah, and they and they don't want to really jump on the stage immediately. Like they're, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because uh, like a yeah. lot, a lot of the times where you are is where Fox will stay. But I like to. I think you need to fret that at least first, so it becomes a mix up. But because it hasn't become a mix up yet, they're always going to take like the free route to ledge. So you just got to yeah. show. You got to show them that like, oh well, I'm going to cover ledge sometimes. So you can't just do that every time. That kind of way. Yeah. Or could you have got ledge in time if you didn't laser? Yeah, I think you could have just ran and done like the shine turn around wave dash to ledge if you were quick mm-hmm. enough instead of lasering and then just do the like regular get up and either up air if they go to play if they teleport to plat or up smash if they go on the ground. Nice. Getting so many good baits out. There's one. Hey, <laughs> you're just cut. <laughs> you're like that's yeah. when your dash dances are so good though. Like you're actually baiting out so many moves, which is like so good for Sheik. Like it's incredible for Sheik. <laughs> We should be able to squeeze in one more game. Okay. Um, I think the longest one was on Stadium. Um, I don't know. We can watch this one. Yeah, I think. He, I don't. Could, uh, yeah, yeah. He's only done one I, on Yoshi's, didn't you? Yeah, I, I did win this game. So, if you would rather go to one I lost. That's fine. We can watch this one though. Yeah, care. yeah. I think watching this one, I think it'll actually be good because I want to see if like 
why you can because obviously the first game in fd i feel like you won a lot of it because you just like hit really hard so i'm wondering if this is a scene where you just like you do better in neutral or like is your punish game really strong again kind of way mm -hmm. that was greedy <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you just need to like i think i think in like your last lesson i did something like that and yeah yeah you just need to you need to like just like dr like not dr do these like drill shines because like they're just so like deniable yeah uh, and then going for the shine there on ledge yeah yeah exactly like you should like, again you should just went straight for the up smash like as soon as you get this you should just like turn around up smash yeah. like right here yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they'll end up, they, if they DI, they'll either DI away and go off stage, or they'll DI straight up, land on the platform, and that starts like a whole falling up air tag chase thing going on. Nice, yeah. <laughs> oh, great in there. Feedback we're talking about. I did, I did kind of like take myself out of the, the play there a little bit, but... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the kind of thing where like, you're good at like making the positions, you're just not ready to like react and punish it yet kind of thing, it's a similar boat. Okay, this is a fair game. He's above SD1. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like the panic again, where it's like I'm gonna immediately attack out of like you do it there and then you do it like again mm -hmm. there. Kind of like yeah, it's kind of it's got a good com a good like comparison I do is like when you keep trying to attack a Jigglypuff that's back here and you have to like wait a moment then attack if the yeah, Jigglypuff keeps. Yeah, yeah. Where like you can't just keep trying to like it's like this wall they're setting up that you can't attack immediately. You, you gotta let them throw the move and then like whiff punish. Well, that's good to read to be fair. Oh, I made it back. Yeah, that was crazy actually. <laughs> the Sheik was surprised they got the grab. They weren't ready to like throw. <laughs> Yeah, just a, if you're just a wee bit snappier getting ledge, you'll like force so many yeah. like good edge guards because you're actually getting her off stage mm -hmm. a lot. You just need to be a wee bit snappier recognizing, okay, I can get the ledge before she can. Yeah. And like getting there. Oh, if Randall makes that so awkward. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I think I would yeah, just. That, yeah, I was just like, that was. Yeah, it was just so awkward the way Randall timed there. I think I have a habit of just like holding shield when I whiff. Maybe, which is probably fine, but I think I do it a little too much. Yeah, like I think there's times where you could be like, for example, up tilt actually could have been like, if you had L cancel up tilt after the nair, it would have been really good actually. But like sometimes like doing a button immediately after because they try to whiff punish your miss is actually really good. Like if you think they're going to be a bit slow, then you can put a button out and then you're going to punish them messing up. Mm -hmm. But if you keep shielding, you're kind of letting them have the pressure. Like especially like, 
it isn't so bad on Sheik, but if this was like a Fox yeah. or Falco, it's they, mm -hmm. they keep you in shield and it's just like you're in such a bad position then. Yeah. Nice. Like that, like, yeah, you actually don't use very much up tilt, but like that was a super good one to catch the like ledge dash. Yeah, I think like right before that, I watched like a tip squeak video on how to up tilt in neutral, and he suggested the wave dash back up tilt. Yeah, yeah, it's all it's it is like it's not as good versus Sheik up tilt as some other characters, like it's really good versus like the likes of Falcon. But it's it's not quite as good, but there's definitely moments where you want to do like wave dash back up till or up till in general yeah. is really good if you think they're going to land on top of you and like trade as well. That's where, that's where I think is the best place to use again, Sheik, if she's trying to land on top of you, mm. I would say. But no, I think in general, like you're, you just need to get a bit of consistency versus Sheik, but when you're playing well, I really like how you play versus Sheik. Yeah, I think that is like a, a big problem of mine. Like when I'm playing well, yeah, I... I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I yeah, I think that'll that should do us, but I'll make um whenever we end the call, I'm gonna make a list of notes that'll just DM you that we kinda like talked about, like we like key points that like you know it'll just like you can just look at when you're playing to like remember to do these things type thing. Okay. So but yeah, if you've any last minute questions before we end, feel free as well. Mm. Um I don't think so. I think next time I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another lesson pretty soon, I think in the next month or so, and we can go over Falco. Yeah. Because I think I think I want to do like a whole lesson on Falco. Yeah, I, I think that's honestly a good. I think a lot of foxes, including like myself, it took me a lot of time to understand like neutral and stuff. And I think Falco's like, he's kind of like his own. Like you have to play neutral like kind of completely different way to any other character. Yeah. So I feel like he takes a lot of time before you really understand how to play like, like neutral against him. I think I'm figuring it out, like not how to like how to not get shit on by lasers, but yeah, I mean sometimes they just like know what I what I like to do. They they call me out and it's not a good time, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. I like to go for the dash back after a laser and whatnot. Yeah, a lot of but, it, a lot of it does boil down to like reading each other's habits of like when they like the laser, what they do after a laser, what the fox does after yeah. they take a laser. It's so much about like just. You have to play so mindful of like their habits, and if you don't yeah. and get predictable, then I feel like you just kind of get crushed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, that sounds good for sure. If we give it like if we give it a month or so as well, I can kind of see your like progress too, like how much like you take. You know, I'll give you these tips or whatever. Like write them down and see how much you've implemented, and then we can do Falco next time as well. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it sounds good. Hope you have a good day now, and I'll catch you later then. All right, man. See you. See ya.